All right, Shalom. There's a brother in the hall here from the GMS Orlando camp. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yasha Allah, and the sincere salutation to all Yuakim, who are preaching this word and believing this word, and to the Aquath, who are believing this word in all truth and in sincerity. This is Revelation chapter 11 and verse 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. This is also Joel chapter 3 and verse 9. And it reads, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. All right, and I want to go into a lesson on this through the spirit based on the recent updates, all right, dealing with the war in the Ukraine, all right? And for those who don't know, you know, a lot of the Ukrainian war is being fought using weapons from the United States, all right, which is Babylon the Great. The United States is Babylon the Great, the golden city mentioned in Revelation. All right, now we're in a time through the spirit where there's a continual escalation to war. Right now, the U.S. is using Ukraine as a proxy so they're basically giving them the weapons to fight against the Russians, all right, which is in both of their interests. Now, eventually, this war is going to escalate because Russia is going to view the U.S. as more of an enemy than they have before because they're literally supplying the people that are shooting at them. All right. So I want to go into this because it says U.S. to send precision bomb kits and Patriot missiles and next Ukraine aid package, officials say says the U.S. Is, is expected to send Ukraine precision bomb kits that will turn existing unguided munitions or dumb bombs into precision guided smart bombs known as joint direct attack munitions or JDAMs, according to multiple U.S. officials. So now things are escalating. All right. Um, if you recall, I believe it was last week, maybe the week before last, you know, um, there were some attacks inside of the Russian territory. Now, this is before they've received these abilities to turn certain bombs into more precision made bombs, not counting the missiles. All right. Them being able to use Patriot missiles is going to give them the ability to fire missiles into Russian territory. Now, this is going to be an escalation. This is all, it's already an escalation. But now we're in a time through the spirit where things are beginning to escalate quickly. Because a lot of this war has been fought on Ukrainian territory and now it's beginning to transition so that there's more damage being taken by the Russians on their own territory, which is going to further escalate things. All right. It says this. The precision bombs could help Ukraine attack fixed Russian defense lines or other large targets, but they need to be dropped from fighter jets, which remains a significant challenge because of Russia's own air defenses. The Ukrainian military would also need to find a way to target and launch JDAMs from Soviet era air aircraft, much as they did with the U.S. made harm anti-radar missiles earlier this year. The Ukrainian Air Force adapted MIG-29 fighter jets to be able to fire the harm missile. They will have to do the same for JDAMs. The kits can be connected to bombs of different weights and sizes, ranging from a 500 pound bomb to one that is 2000 pounds. And this is why when you go into Isaiah, the ninth chapter, all right, it says this. Isaiah nine and five for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire, because now things are escalating. And you notice that modern warfare, a large portion of modern warfare is missiles, bombs, all right, which goes into fuel of fire, all right, with burning and fuel of fire. And these things are only escalating. And the only reason Ukraine has a fighting chance in the first place is because of the supplies of weapons given to them, not only by the United States, but other nations. All right. The UK, I believe uh, Poland gave them weapons. So all these nations are funding and giving weapons to Ukraine, which gives them the ability to fight. Now, it becomes dangerous when Russian uh, territory is attacked because now things begin to get more desperate 
for the Russians. All right, because again, the Lord said in Ezekiel 38, the 38th chapter, that he will put hooks in their jaws. All right, and a, a big portion of that is by the escalation of the war. All right, and that's what we're witnessing right now because it's only a matter of time before the uh, Russians, which are also Edomites, begin to look at America and the UK in a more aggressive fashion. Like right now, they're refusing to give gas to the UK in the middle of the winter. Now, part of that is because of those sanctions that the UK agreed to. And for that reason, a lot of those people over there can't afford to heat their homes. But if it begins to escalate and it continues to escalate, there's going to be more aggressive measures taken by Russia. And this is what they've been saying for the past few weeks, especially since their territory has been attacked. All right. Now, continuing, it says this. The kits first reported by the Washington Post give the bombs a range of approximately 15 miles, according to Boeing. The next aid package to Ukraine is also expected to include Patriot air defense systems, as CNN first reported last week. The U.S. Pro has provided billions of dollars in aid to Ukraine since the beginning of Russia's invasion in February and sees it as effective in helping the Ukrainians fight back. While Ukraine has asked for certain weapon systems like the Patriot Missile Defense System, the Biden administration has had a careful approach to what is provided to Ukraine and when. The JDAMs do not carry a serious risk of escalation, one official said, because they're relatively short range, similar to other weapons the U.S. has provided. The kits will not allow Ukraine to strike deep into Russian territory. The precision Excalibur rounds fired from Ukrainian artillery have approximately the same range. With the guided multiple rocket launch system, missiles launched from high mobility artillery rocket systems, HIMARS, have a significantly longer range than JDAMs. So right now, we're seeing that escalation through the increase in weapons given to them. Now, when you look at this article here, it says Britain says Russia, Iran to exchange military equipment. So this war is starting to make those lines be drawn. And we know according to prophecy, all right, that Iran, which is Persia, is going to uh, be an ally, all right, with uh, Russia and Russia is ultimately going to be a guard unto the Iranians. All right. Ezekiel chapter 38 and verse one reads, and the word of the Lord came unto me saying, son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal and prophesy against him and say, thus saith the Lord, how by Shemal Shai, behold, I'm against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. And I will bring thee forth in all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Persia, which are the Iranians, Ethiopia and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Gomer and all his bands, the house of Togomar, Togomar of the north quarters and all his bands and many people with thee. Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. So when you look at this article right here, it says that I ran to exchange military equipment. When you dig through this article, you find out that not only are they exchanging equipment, but Russia is exchanging advanced military equipment in exchange for uh, Iranian drones. All right. So let's read through this article real quick says Britain accused Russia of planning to give Iran advanced military components in exchange for hundreds of drones. British Defense Minister Ben Wallace said on Tuesday, calling on the West to do more to expose the trade. Iran has become one of Russia's top military backers. Wallace told Parliament as part of a statement on the Russian, the Russia-Ukraine conflict. In return for having supplied more than 300 kamikaze drones, Russia now intends to provide Iran with advanced military components, undermining both Middle East and international security. We must expose that deal. In fact, I have just now. Now, this shows you the hypocrisy, right? Because Ukraine is being supplied by America amongst other nations of people. But now you have Iran supplying, not just supplying, but doing a fair trade, a, a deal 
between them and the Russians. All right. For drones, for equipment. And this is this is why the scriptures talk about hell from beneath is come to meet thee at thy coming. All right. Because, again, these nations all see the, the hypocrisy of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, particularly those in America, because the Russians are Edomites as well. And this is why the Lord is um, raising up the Russians to be a guard unto these other these other nations that recognize the hypocrisy of Babylon, the great, which is America. You talk about threatening international security, they're supplying weapons to Russia's enemies. And then Iran, all right, who's been heavily sanctioned anyway, all right, they've basically been outcasted as, an, uh, as a nation of people concerning economics, are doing deals with Russia, and you have this um, arrogancy about the West, particularly Babylon the Great, all right, this is, uh, let's go to this first. This is Obadiah 1, and I will start at 1. The vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord power concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye and depart. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Now, this is an Edomite spirit in general. But when you look at those in America, the West, all right, they have this pomp about them where they don't believe they'll be taken down. They don't believe that they'll be taken out of power. They have the number one military on the planet. They're the one nation that invests the most money in their military uh, complex. And they have this attitude that they'll never be taken down. And this is why they, they feel so proud and justified in accusing Iran and Russia of threatening international security while they're pretty much doing the same thing. They're supplying another nation of people with weapons in this war. All right. Now, when you go into this article, continuing, it says this. I want to jump down. It says Wallace did not provide detail on the type of military components. He said Russia wanted to give Iran. The Russian Defense Ministry and Iran's Foreign Ministry did not immediately respond to Rado's request for comment. Britain, along with Western allies, has provided military assistance to Ukraine following the invasion, which Russia refers to as a special operation to demilitarize its neighbor and rid it of nationalists. All right. It says early on Tuesday, the European Union's foreign policy chief, Joseph Borrell, told Iran's foreign minister that Tehran should immediately halt military support for Russia. Iran has acknowledged sending drones to Russia, but said that they were sent before Moscow invaded Ukraine in February. Moscow has denied its forces used Iranian drones in Ukraine. On Monday, Russia attacked Ukraine with dozens of kamikaze drones, hitting critical infrastructure in and around Kiev in what was Moscow's third attack on the Ukrainian capital in less than a week. All right, let me jump down to this last paragraph. It says, Britain, the United States, and the European Union have sanctioned Iranian military figures and defense manufacturers believed to be involved in the supply of Iranian drones to Russia. All right, and this is why, you know, um, Esau Edom, especially in America, is so despised amongst these other nations because it's a... It's, it's hypocrisy, all right? The same thing that they're doing, they're accusing other nations of being wrong for doing the same things that they're doing freely. All right, they're supplying another nation with weapons and they're not in a position to accuse another nation of doing something wrong for doing the same thing. All right, this is why the scriptures say this in Isaiah. I'm gonna jump down to the 33rd verse. Uh, Salaki, the 33rd chapter in the first verse, it says, Woe to thee that spoilest, and thou was not spoiled, and dealest treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. Because these other nations don't have the ability to sanction America whenever they feel like America is in the wrong. They don't have the ability to do that. This is why in Isaiah, the 14th chapter, it refers to um, the king of Babylon as one who ruled the nations in anger. 
the hypocrisy, all right, and the deceit that is being used against these other nations dealing with these American Edomites. All right. Everybody sees the writing on the wall, but other nations don't have the ability to defend themselves. And that's why Russia is going to be a defense unto them. All right. Continuing, it says this. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. Because ultimately they're learning the blueprint of Esau Edom over here in the West. China especially. All right. They're logging their blueprint in and they're learning that blueprint and they're pushing it. And they're, they're basically using the blueprint of the so-called white man in America to push about this. Uh, the, this uh, how do they say it in uh, Edris? The glory of Babylon, because all these nations are, are ultimately down with the image of the beast, contrary to popular belief. Now, the Lord's going to put the spirit on them to fight. But you notice like in, in places like China, they are. Even ahead of the game, when you deal with the image of the beast, when you deal with uh, um, cashless payments, situations like that, that we understand are going to play out in the West as well. Nations like China are already involved in this Japan as well, because all although all the, all of these nations are going to fight against each other, they're ultimately still down with the image of the beast moving into this digital age of convenience which is also a digital age of control. All right. Now I want to jump down to this in second edge 15. It says this in verse 46 and thou Asia that art partaker of the hope of Babylon and art the glory of her persons. Woe be unto thee, thou wretch, because thou hast made thyself like unto her and has decked thy daughters in whoredom that they might please and glory in thy lovers, which have always desired to commit whoredom with thee. Because China is allied with Russia, and even though they're on the other side of the fence concerning America and its allies, they are still one in the same as far as the image of the beast being pushed across the nation, across the world. Because they're directly involved in doing that with their own citizens. All right. They were the first ones to have a social credit score. All right. And this is how we understand through the spirit that all of these things fall into prophecy. All right. Now, when you go to this, there's one more article. Lord willing, I can grab it. Let me just look at it real quick. Beautiful. All right. So it says China, Russia. Ah. Uh, like you. Let me just grab another version of this article. All right. So it says Russia and China unite for live fire naval exercises in waters near Japan. All right. It says China and Russia will begin a week long joint live fire naval exercise in the East China Sea on Wednesday. And you have to think about the significance of that. Right. You got a nation that speaks Russian and then a nation that speaks Chinese and they're doing these drills continuously for years they've been doing these drills and they're continuing to do these drills and these drills are meant for something they're doing it costs millions of dollars for them to invest in in situations like this why because ultimately the lord has placed the spirit on them to prepare for war all right again if we go back to joel the third chapter what did the lord say proclaim ye this among the gentiles prepare war wake up the mighty men let all the men of war draw near let them come up. And we see these nations have these drills over and over. Iran and Russia. All right. China and Russia. Iran and China have a relationship. All right. You're starting to see China and Saudi Arabia having a, a relationship. And this is all going against the West. The BRICS nations. So we see what started off as just a Ukrainian Russian conflict. Not only is it escalating, but it's bringing other nations closer together. Like it's bringing Iran and, and China closer together. All right, it says China and Russia will begin a week long joint live fire naval exercise in the East China Sea on Wednesday. The Russian Defense Ministry said in a statement as the two partners step up cooperation in an increasingly tense Western Pacific. All right, because you have to remember the South China Sea has still been a hotbed. 
It's still been a, a, a point of contention on a global scale. Now, continuous says the active part of the exercise will include joint missile and artillery firing against air targets, artillery firing against sea targets and practicing joint anti-submarine actions with practical use of weapons. The Russian statement said the exercise is dubbed Maritime Cooperation 2022 will feature Russia's Pacific Fleet flagship, the missile cruiser Voyage, a frigate and two corvettes. The statement said, adding that the China's People's Liberation Army Navy will send two destroyers, two patrol ships, a multipurpose supply ship and a diesel submarine. The China aircraft would also take part, it said. The main purpose of the exercise is to strengthen naval cooperation between the Russian Federation and the People's Republic of China and to maintain peace and stability in the Asia Pacific region, the statement said. So we're seeing two nations that are against the West, all right, in China and Russia, and of course Iran, all start to work together. All right, the other article we read, there's a weapons trade, a weapons exchange going on, or or should schedule to go on between Iran and Russia. And at the same time, Russia's doing drills with China while they're still fighting a war. And all of this is just strengthening the bond of Esau's adversaries. All right. Because, again, the Russians are Edomites as well. But the Lord put the spirit upon them. He put hooks in their jaws, like it says in Ezekiel, the 38th chapter, to return to that old Cold War spirit, that spirit of war. All right. This is Ezekiel 38 and four. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws and I will bring thee forth. All right. And this is what we see. Even when you jump down to verse seven says, be thou prepared and prepare for thou thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. And this is what we see playing out in real time. Whether it's naval drills, all right, whether it's the uh, exchange of weapons, all right, whether it's the uh, contact that uh, Russia and China are having in Africa, all of these things are playing a role because, again, we're going into a time where this war is going to escalate. And you can already see the writing on the wall. The weapons are getting more advanced as far as what they're sending uh, Ukraine. They were just sending them the basic weapons that didn't have the ability to attack Russian territory. But now we're coming into a time where those things are beginning to change very quickly. All right. And this is a beautiful time through the spirit and poverty by Shemel Shah because we understand this is the time of war. All right. Isaiah chapter 14. And I want to jump down. To verse nine, hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It hath raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. All they shall speak and say unto thee, art thou become, art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? And this is the sentiment. This is why these nations aren't afraid to have drills uh, against America's enemies. Iran and China aren't afraid to do deals and, and conduct business with Russia, despite all of the sanctions and everything else, all the threats from America. Because, again, they view America as weak, just like they are, meaning they have a fighting chance. And together, they're going to believe that more and more as we get closer to the end. All right. So I want to touch on those articles through the spirit just to give a quick update on, on what's going on through the spirit concerning the. The wars and the rumors of wars that are happening in this time, because we know all of these things are going to move forward toward prophecy. And according to prophecy, there will be a third world's woe. All right. A third world war. All right. So, Lord willing, um, I'll put the link to the articles in the description. Lord willing, this was edifying with that. I want to give all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yahshua Allah, and the sincere salutation to Yuakim, who are preaching this word and believing this word, and to the Aquath, who are believing this word, in all truth and in sincerity. Shalom.